Hello, welcome to TO Markets price action analysis on gold. This market has hit our target that we gave you last week and then there was quite a re rejection there and now we have some dollar strength in the market so it's interesting to see what is likely to happen next. Let's take a look. But first, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out of any of the opportunities that we provide here here on this channel. Just last week, we had Euro USD hitting our target area and also gold, as we just talked about. But please also remember that we don't provide any investment advice and all the material made here available here is only for educational and marketing purposes. You should only watch this video if you agree with this disclaimer. And here we have, as usual, gold in two hour time frame. And if you want to have more details on this uh, trade idea and the sort of context for where the price is moving at the moment, then I should suggest that you go to tomarkets.com slash analysis and read the previous analysis there. And, and also here in our YouTube channel, you can go and, and view the past videos. Now, as you can see, the market moved to our target zone and the move was rejected. Um, basically, this uh, area was hit when the market reacted to NFP numbers on Friday. And now we have a lower high in place also. But it, there's also something more interesting, some, or I should say something else interesting there too in, in price action here. If we look at, and just do a bit of, um, just basic trend line analysis, we can see that there was a wedge and now the price has broken outside of this bearish wedge. So uh, this together with the fact that the re resistance or the target zone was quickly rejected suggests that uh, we might see gold moving further down. And obviously we should find a, a target zone and I think if we look at the Fibonacci retracement levels here, it sort of sticks out that uh, if you take this low here, the swing low here from Thursday, and uh, you can see that it coincides with the 50% uh, Fibonacci retracement. So I would say that if we have this market continuing bearish and as we are seeing across the markets now USD gaining strength. Um, if this continues, it is uh, quite likely that the market will roll over and hit, uh, maybe move down to this zone. I don't promise it will move back because I don't know the future, surprise, surprise. But I'm saying that with the weakness continuing, it's likely that we hit this zone. So uh, these levels, I'm going to give you uh, the levels exactly to you. So I would say from 1804.80, you know, usually these uh, pennies don't mean a thing or cents, I should say. So 1804.80 to 1814.50 is this uh, target zone that we think is probable that gold will move to if this weakness continues. Obviously, if we start consolidating up here and creating higher lows, then we have to re-evaluate re everything. But at the moment, this is that look, this is the sort of trade that looks probable. So we look for short trade opportunities below this uh, level here. This is 1842.45 42, or so. So short trading opportunities below this level with the target zone down here. And as usual, I would say, be careful when you trade, never over trade, always use stops. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you.